Right now, a Central Falls teenager is still missing. It's a story we first told you about Wednesday. 16-year-old Charles Engley has not been heard from since Tuesday morning. Engley's family is frantic over his disappearance. They were joined by friends, city leaders, and even complete strangers who came together to pray for his safe return. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is live in Central Falls with more for us tonight. Charles Engley has been missing since Tuesday. His family is worried sick about him, and they've been passing around these flyers to try to get him back home. A mother's desperate plea for help. Please call me. My son is missing for four days now. Through tears, the mother of 16-year-old Charles Angley pleaded for her son's safe return. She was among hundreds at a candlelight vigil Friday night at Central Falls High School, where Charles is in the 11th grade. What do you think happened to Charlie? <sighs> I wish I could answer that question. Nobody knows. Longing for life. Charles' family and friends turning to their faith for strength. It's a pain that we we never fail. It's a pain that I wouldn't want any family member or anybody to go through. Charles' mom says her sister dropped him off at school Tuesday morning and watched him go into the building. But she says at some point that day, he disappeared. Look at the weather condition. He's cold. Probably he's hungry. The Central Falls mayor throwing his support behind the family. I'm well, consistently in touch with them, uh, making sure that they have access to me at all times. While police investigate every lead they have. He was spotted uh, a couple of days ago. Also came in. Um, he was around some mall and uh, shopping plaza areas. Again, we were unable to confirm the information because it was sent from the tips line. Charles' mom says her son ran away from home two years ago, but she doesn't think that's the case this time. If you have any information on his whereabouts, police want you to give them a call. Live in Central Falls with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.